honestly going in as underdogs. But I think we have a, a pretty good chance and I'm, I think we have to remain optimistic about it. There's a design competition that was started by the Alliance for Green Heat and the goal is to make a new, innovative, highly efficient and low emissions wood stove. We're the only university uh, among the finalists in this competition. It'll probably be difficult to compete with, with the big companies that have thrown a lot of money at, at uh, existing models. We're trying to just make a better wood stove to make it more uh, realistic for people to use wood stoves in, in the modern day. Do you have more screws too? Yeah. These are completely Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, we have more. We have a whole box of them. Okay. I think the products that are out there right now, they're, they're too expensive. I'm proud to be part of something like this where we're coming up with a product that helps people, but it also has a lot to do with my personal background in environmental science. And I'm just excited to be on this team. Uh, after taking a couple of classes, I really had a strong interest in the research aspect and I just thought oh it'd be really cool to understand actually how a fire works. I worked for a full time over the summer while I'm running experiments and tests on our stove. Um, I try to come up with new ideas on how we can incorporate just more efficient technology towards our stove and how it's going to stack up against our competition. The main thing is we uh, blow air, we force air through the stove. Now in a typical wood stove, airflow is driven by combustion, so the fire is what moves the air through the stove itself. By forcing air, we are able to control exactly how much air gets into the stove at any given time. We bring cool outside air down around the outside of the stack, and then the exhaust gases flow up the middle. As the outside air comes in, it's warmed by the exhaust gases, and the exhaust gases are in turn cooled by that incoming air. That means a lot of heat, which would normally just leave your house, it instead goes back into the stove, which helps improve emissions and improve efficiency in general. We're putting the thermoelectric generators in, in the back panel to power the fans. Basically, they're these components that will take a thermal gradient, um, just a difference in temperature, and, and generate electricity from it. We're actually generating electricity from this heat that would normally just escape in the, in the stack. We can use this electricity to power our fans, to power our controller, and to uh, perhaps even generate more energy than that. The best part was for the students to learn how to use their knowledge that they acquired during the year studying here and apply it to a real world engineering problem. Over the years, they have studied fluid mechanics, mathematics, and physics of fire growth processes. And this is the first attempt, essentially, where they made a connection between what they learned and how it actually can potentially be used to develop a brand new system and to actually do something, something new and important, something that can actually change people's lives. We don't have any corporate kind of funds. Hopefully, after this competition, we could get more um, sponsorship to make this a real product and that you know people would actually want to buy this and put it in their homes. If you look at it from a point of view of potential and the overall cumulative power, potential power of technologies, then I think that our wood stove is the winner. <laughs>